But with me now, someone who was watching closely, former Republican House Majority Leader Tom DeLay. Congressman, thrilled to have you. Which Thank candidate you, moved the ball forward best for his or her campaign last night? I don't think anyone moved the ball uh, best. I, I, this was just so much fun to watch. Uh, it was one of the best debates I've ever seen, and I've been involved in politics for almost 50 years. Uh, this this was just th this was better than the game Monday night when Alabama beat Clemson, uh, and the timing was absolutely perfect. But I'm not sure anybody advanced the ball any for themselves. Uh, they were all good. Every one of them were good. In fact. Huckabee uh, and Carly and, and Santorum were excellent. Uh, so, so I think if, you're, if you have a candidate, you were very pleased with your candidate, but I, didn't, I don't think a whole lot of people are going to switch okay. right now. But there's a lot of undecideds out there. Congressman, one of the tones that everybody picked up, Donald Trump and Ted Cruz clearly <laughs> faced off. Since September... The Constitution hasn't changed. <laughs> but the poll numbers have. Here's the problem. We're running, we're running. He does great. I win. I choose him as my vice presidential candidate, and the Democrats sue because we can't take him along for the ride. I don't like that. All right, so is this the future tone where you have the two, let's say, just the bromance is over? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, well, certainly the romance is over. But, you know, they went at each other in a very civil way. I, I, they, they really didn't get down and dirty personal. Um, I, I thought it was a great exchange, and it's an exchange over an important issue. Donald Trump is right. Today, or like yesterday, a Houstonian sued uh, uh, or, or brought a suit for the courts to decide uh, if Cruz is eligible. So let and me ask so, you, Congressman, do you think then that it is actually a distraction for Senator Cruz and one that could prevent him from being the nominee? I don't know that I'd go that far. I mean, people accepted that, that uh, uh, Obama wasn't eligible for, to be president. Uh, and went forward. I, I think that if, if Cruz is strong enough, people may just push us aside. The Constitution gets pushed aside all the time. All right. We're glad for your insight. Thank you. Former Republican Thank House you. Majority Leader Tom DeLay joining me there.